Joe breaking is legal, so you better not try to take down this video. Otherwise, I'm uh, What's up guys, the tech spot here, and oh boy, do we have a lot of great news to discuss regarding the iOS 15 through 15.1.1 upcoming Taurine jailbreak. All right, now to start with, many people have been asking me if they should stay on iOS 14 for a jailbreak or update to iOS 15 for this new Taurine upcoming jailbreak. Listen up, do not update. If you are on iOS 14, stay on the lowest version of iOS possible, and this is for a very, very important reason reason. So guys, stay on iOS 14 because you will get a better jailbreak than on iOS 15. The iOS 15 Taurine jailbreak is going to be rootless, which means that it does not remount root FS, which means that it can only go as deep as into var instead of the full file system of iOS, which means that tweaks would have to be updated to be located in var in order to work, which would be a pain in the butt, which means that all tweaks would be broken until updated. Now, as it is with Joe Breaks, when a new Joe Break is usually released, a bunch of tweaks are usually broken when a Joe Break is first released on a new iOS version. So, in conclusion, stay on the lowest version of iOS possible if you do want to have the smoothest jailbreak possible and the most working tweaks. Hope that clears it up. Now, as far as iOS 15 through 15.1.1 goes, which a jailbreak is coming for very, very soon, Geosnow accidentally leaked from the jailbreak team's private channel, which includes Coolstar, etc., that Taurine will support all devices on A8 through A15 on iOS 15 through 15.1.1. This is fantastic news. So basically, eventually, every single device A8 through A15, A15 being the iPhone 13 Pro and A8 being all the way down to the iPhone 6 and everything in between will be supported by the Taurine jailbreak. So that is so, so cool. But again, as of right now, it'll only support iOS 15.0 all the way up to 15.1.1. So again, that includes 15.1. This will not include 15.2 because that is above 15.1.1. So again, anything on or between iOS 15 through 15.1.1. So devices that the Taurine jailbreak will support on iOS 15 through 15.1.1 first, will be the iPhone 7 Plus and older, the iPhone 8, 8 Plus, iPhone 10, iPhone 10s, and iPhone 10R. If you have a newer device, support for that device will be coming later on within Taurine, but don't worry, it won't be too long. And in the future, the Taurine jailbreak might also support iOS 15.2 Beta 1. Now, this is very important. Beta 1, if you're on Beta 2 or on the official version of iOS 15.2, that'll not work. But yeah, in the future Taurine might support iOS 15.2 beta 1. Now, since Geosnow had accidentally leaked the A8 through A15 info, he was under some fire. Coolstar tweeted, leaking from a private channel on the silo discord is a bannable offense. Geosnow has been removed from all private channels as a result. Even says at the top of the channel is private, shaking my head. We have no obligation to follow through on stuff that is leaked as usual. Geosnow responded saying apparently that info that the A8 through A15 comes in the same release was on a private channel, generally did not notice and accidentally leaked it by covering it. No idea why I had access there, but I am sorry yet, yeah, Odyssey team got banned from the private chats, but it's deserved. The Odyssey Jopic team responded by saying, glad to say that the matter was resolved as a simple misunderstanding. We're thankful for at FCE365's content and your guys' enthusiasm. Geo is now back in the channel and the matter is dead. And we're both pledging to better communication going forward to avoid this happening again. So Geosnow is now in the clear and we're good to go. But Coolstar tweeted, whoever sent Geosnow that death threat over the accidental leak, stop. Seriously. And I agree, just sending people death threats over this leak? Like, come on. Now on March 31st, Coolstar did tweet, Hi at MKBHD, can we have permission to use this photo for a splash screen of our upcoming iOS 15 jailbreak? Now, I'm not sure if Coolstar was joking. This was tweeted on March 31st, not April 1st, but you never really know with Coolstar. We might see MKBHD splash screen for the jailbreak. Though on April 1st, Coolstar joked that Raid Shadow Legends would be sponsoring the Tori and jailbreak, and that the 
the first people who would have access to the joke break would have to buy their NFT. Now, this was obviously a joke as it was tweeted on April 1st and Coolstar even cleared the error himself. Okay, now jokes aside, for the iOS 15.1.1 joke break, we still need Amphid. Amphid stands for Apple Mobile File Integrity Diamond. That took me some time to get. Now, Amphid is read only at the moment, but it needs to be write as well. So it needs read and write, otherwise it will not work. And this is required for tweaks to work. So we really need it. And hold up, I'm getting a call. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Okay, bye. Amphid is read and write now. So we're good on that. Amphid does use binary boys exploit. So donate to Teamstar and Coolstar as they've been put in work. He and Coolstar got binary boys exploit to get Amphid to work. So yeah, the iOS 15.0 through 15.1.1 jailbreak is going to be released very, very soon. We don't have any release date or anything like that, but they are working on it. There are so many devices that they want to support. So be patient and it is going to be very soon, guys. Again, this is for iOS 15.0 through 15.1.1. Now, there is a fake Taurine Twitter, which is at Taurine app. But what's weird is that he does post real info, copying and pasting from Coolstar's tweets. Coolstar doesn't like him, obviously, but I guess Taurine doesn't have an official Twitter right now. Because for me, at Taurine app is the first thing that pops up when I type in Taurine. Just know that it is not the real jailbreak team themselves, even though they are basically copying and pasting real information. And what What's also fake is the Fugu 15 jailbreak for iOS 15. Now, just for clarification, there is a Fugu 14 jailbreak for iOS 14, which is real, but there's none for iOS 15. So this Fugu 15 jailbreak is completely fake. As always, just follow trusted sources like me and you should be good to go in knowing if a jailbreak is fake or real. Okay, so we have a jailbreak coming for iOS 15.0 all the way up to 15.1.1, but what about iOS 15.3.1. So in my last, last jailbreak update video, I did tell you guys to downgrade from iOS 15.4 to iOS 15.3.1. Now this only goes for if you did update to iOS 15.4 because iOS 15.3.1 at the time was the only software that you were able to successfully downgrade to as Apple was still allowing it. And iOS 15.3.1 does have Synactive's exploit, which is going to be used for a jailbreak break in the future. But again, the same premise still remains. If you are on a lower iOS, stay there. Do not update. But if you were on iOS 15.4, your best bet would have been to downgrade back to 15.3.1 and wait there. That is what I am currently doing on my iPhone 13 Pro. Now, what sucks is that iOS 15.3.1 is no longer being signed by Apple anymore. So they probably found that, okay, they have found an exploit and they're probably going to jailbreak in the future. Let's stop people from being able to go back to to iOS 15.3.1. So you can no longer go back to iOS 15.3.1. Apple has shut that down. This is why you should watch my videos as I've been telling you guys to downgrade if you guys were on iOS 15.4. So yeah, if you are on iOS 15.3.1, it is going to be some more time before we see a jailbreak. Jailbreaking is harder on iOS 15.3.1, but can still be done and achieved. Apple is absolutely cracked on security now. Even the FBI could not break into the iPhone's passcode, and yet we have jailbreak breaks the developers of these joke breaks just work so hard just getting through apple's security it's incredible and yeah youtube okay joke breaking is legal so you better not try to take down this video otherwise i'm uh... Now, in its most current state, the iOS 15.1.1 and below jailbreak is 90% done. So hop for the hype train because the jailbreak is almost out. So you guys can see Coolstar did post on Discord. He said breaking out of sandbox, getting root, getting read write access to a file system except root FS, getting Amphid's task port, verifying Amphid patchworks, verifying IDID update works have all been done and checked. The only thing that's left is reverse engineering AMFI change on iOS 15 around entitlements, which basically means that they are reverse engineering the jailbreak for iOS 15 support. So wow, holy, we are so close to seeing an iOS 15 jailbreak. Now I know some of you guys are wondering what will this jailbreak ship with? Will it be Cydia? Will it be iInstaller? Will it be Silo? 
Well, the answer is Silo. Some of you guys may be sad that Sidia is not shipping with the joke break, but you could still get Sidia afterwards. But anyway, Sidia is not going to be the primary app that gets installed with this joke break because it is no longer being supported by Sarek. It is very unorganized and a lot of the tweaks are just not compatible. It needs to be organized in a way that shows you the compatible tweaks as opposed to having a bunch of tweaks and you install them and they just did not work. So as Sidia does not have any more support, it's not being updated anymore. It's basically being buried and thus Silo was born and this is a new package manager. So it's basically Cydia except it has a new and updated design and all the tweaks that you see are usually updated for your device. It's a lot more organized. So yeah, the iOS 15 through 15.1.1 Touring Jailbreak will install the Silo app on your device. However, if you still do want Cydia, you will still be able to do that through Silo. All you do is add a source and install Cydia. It's that simple. And you could just install Zebra 2 or iInstaller or whichever package manager that you want. But yeah, I think Silo is a good option even though I do love the nostalgia of Cydia. I personally would still put Cydia, but we just need Cydia to be basically revamped. Anyways, huge thanks to the Jailbreak developers for putting their time in. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe. I'll keep you guys posted on any and all Jailbreak updates. This is the Tech Spot. Peace. Back. And I'm going, and I'm going, and I'm going. Yeah, I'm going. And I'm smoking, and I'm smoking, and I'm smoking. And I'm talking, and I'm talking, and I'm talking. Yeah, I'm doing that a lot. Gotta get this new drop, gotta yeah. get it. Gotta move in this desert, yeah. gotta move.